Anyway, the Steam Link actually is the cross platform link file generator. It's uh, developed and maintained by this, uh, this organization called Kitler. And uh, Steam Link is again, it's actually shipped by the Qt project. So Qt is, again, it's a C framework and uh, is, that's what the KD community uses to build their desktop applications. And, uh, and yeah, and finally, we don't use QMate to build those, those projects because KD has a lot of other dependencies as well. And CMate, at least in my opinion, does a better job of uh, managing the dependencies. But yeah, the uh, plus point with using QMake is that, uh, okay, so there's a beautiful IDE called Qt Creator, which, which you can actually you know, drag and drop thing, things on a UI, and uh, you can create some really cool UI um, very quickly, desktop applications. So, so because QMake comes with Qt Creator, Qt Creator can actually generate a, uh, a QMake profile for your project, and that's why it's very, it's much more tightly integrated with uh, this certain ID. Um, you'll obviously come across it uh, sooner rather than later. Yeah, so there you go. So you have these two really good options. So which one would you choose? Yeah, so that's really up to you, more or less. Uh, just what do you think? I mean, there's a good number of people who feel that CMake is much better, and people will argue that QMake can, just, can do anything that CMake does as well. So it's down to your opinion, and it's also down to what you're requiring in your project. So that's what I said. So, uh, so if you have a really complex dependency, <coughs> should I get into this? <laughs> so, okay, so if you have a complex dependency for your project, so you want, okay, I'll just uh, show it to you then, come to the example. Yeah. Right, so what kind of environment does your project build on? So is it, um, for instance,